new at noon. Alcohol won't be available for purchase on Sundays in Indiana anytime this year. A proposal to allow Sunday alcohol sales has officially gone down the drain. RTV6 State House reporter Katie Hines joins us live with these breaking developments this midday. Katie. Market came down to the numbers in what was expected to be a very close vote here at the State House today. We talked to the bill sponsor late this morning. He confirms that he pulled the bill due to a lack of support, lack of votes to get it passed. The House had been expected to take a final vote on a bill to allow Sunday alcohol sales today. But the divisiveness over the issue has been clear here from the start. We got a good indication of where members of the House stood last week when they debated a series of proposed changes to the bill, including a requirement for drug and grocery stores to sell all hard liquor behind the counter and display beer and wine in one area or aisle of the store. Representatives for both retailers and packaged liquor stores are disappointed with the developments. Let us do on Sunday what we're already doing responsibly the other six days of the week. And it, it's regrettable that Representative Dermany then cluttered up the bill with. Um, the liquor stores wish list. We're disappointed um, that big box and national dollars have really come in to really try to deregulate the sale of alcohol in the state of Indiana. You know, everything that was contained in 1624 we supported. Uh, we have always been concerned about Sunday sales, but there was great public policy. Many here at the State House felt that this year was the best chance yet of Sunday alcohol sales passing. But again, we saw today that the sponsor did pull the bill from the record today. We'll be catching up with the bill's sponsor on his decision today, why he made that decision, also what he thinks the future of the 80 year ban on Sunday alcohol sales might hold. For now, we're live. Katie Hines, RTV6.